Hi everyone, this is Nancy with Astros Treasure Home Studying and Gardening and I just want to say hello and I'm doing alright. Um, I didn't have a video last week, I had a bad fibromyalgia flare. So I was down for the week. Oh yeah, those things are awful. Um, yeah, my hands itching. So, you know, the eczema is just... It's not really bad. It's just little spots that have dried up that stay itching. So, <laughs> if you can't do nothing about it, don't complain about it. That's a pretty good motto. Can't do nothing about it, don't complain about it. But, there are things that are needing to complain about. You stand up and do what is right. Make your voice heard. <coughs> Excuse me for a moment. Yes, I got my Christmas mug. I really try not to do that. With the sun and stuff and everything draining, oh my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I have to clear my throat. And... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just one of those mornings. Everybody has one of those mornings. But I do have some things I'm uh, uh, lining up and everything. Um, I get to show everybody my Christmas present. Uh, not my Christmas present. What am I talking about? My birthday present. It was Christmas last birthday. Let's put it that way. I am not. It's early in the morning. Well, early for me. 8.30. When you sleep, oh my goodness. This is how I sleep at night. I fall asleep, I go to sleep. I have no problems falling asleep. 9 30, 10 o'clock. Pretty good time. Two hours later, I'm up. I look at the clock, and it's like 12 30 or so. I'm like, oh, I thought it was later. Go to the bathroom. Lay back down and I just lay there. Like, okay, I could fall asleep. Go back to sleep. An hour later, I finally fall back asleep. Three hours later, I, well, I see that would be like 2 30. Two hours later, I'm up again. I wake up, I was like, oh, I might as well go to the bathroom. <laughs> I lay back down. I'm like, okay, I can get up in a couple of hours. I'll be all right. Some mornings I lay there wide awake. Other mornings I do fall back asleep. Get up around 7.30 or so. Get some things done before I have to wake up. The little one for school. Other mornings I'm up at 4.30 and wide awake. I'm like, I have not... <clears throat> worked a graveyard shift in over 20 years. Why in the world am I up in the middle of the night? <laughs> it's not insomnia. I don't know what it is. Cannot tell you at all. Some nights I sleep good and some nights I don't. Do I have a lot on my mind? Maybe. Maybe not. I just, if it's, you know, thinking it's about the thing that's going on, in my opinion, I'll get my channel shut down. <laughs> or, you know, the video blocked or something, another, or, you know, whatever. That's pretty sad when we can't say, have our freedom of speech and say what we want to say. But, um, yeah. That's what I've, it's been like that for years now. You know, I go to sleep, fine. I wake up two or three times in the middle of the night. And it's like, hmm, this is getting ridiculous. I want love to sleep all night long. Every single night. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, oh. I guess I was sitting saying my birthday present, not Christmas present. Well, I'll combine it all together. Um, 
It is another kitchen gadget. Uh, the other hint is it could be small or it could be big. But those are the only hints I'm giving away until I actually do a video for it. <laughs> um, and yes, I've been using it because it's really cool. So, ooh, my hand's itching. But other than that, that's what's been going on. The bad fiber flare last week makes you feel like you've been hit by a mat truck. People stomping all over your body. Like, you know, I don't want to say nose, the little people. Remember um, Gulliver's Travels and the little people that had him tied down and roped down and everything? That's how you feel. Exactly how you feel. So, but it went just like it came and all is good. So, and then let's see here. It's towards the end of April. Um, I was looking at the calendar because something else was going to go on. Hmm. It's just getting close to the end of April, I guess. <laughs> My granddaughter graduates from kindergarten next month. So we're really excited about that. We got her little cap in the mail and her certificate and oh, I start crying. And then her mommy goes, don't you cry? Cause I'm gonna cry. And I'm like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm the one homeschooling her. <laughs> She's going up. I did it to my sons also. <laughs> and I guess, why are you going up so fast? And then go, mom, stop crying. So, I could do it now again. <laughs> but she's so funny. She goes, Nana. Yeah, no. She goes, it's the show's supposed to sit there and pat me. It's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's okay. She goes, but I don't want to grow up either. <laughs> and I'm like, don't grow up too fast. Just enjoy being a kid. I told my son that too. Don't grow up too fast. Enjoy being a kid. Being an adult sometimes is not all that it's cracked up to be. You know, everyone told us that when we were younger, didn't know what they were talking about. Mm. Oh, wait till you're a teenager. Wait till you're 16. You can get your driver's license. Then you're 18. You can do this, this, and this. No. I wish somebody told me to stay. Enjoy being a kid while you can. But doesn't mean we can't enjoy other things as an adult. <clears throat> and I heard the saying, um, nothing how to tell the difference between a boy and a man's by the size of their toys, you know, that's not true. Because I like playing with Legos. And I still play with baby dolls with my granddaughter. So, never act your age. It's fun. Oh, to a point. <laughs> so, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, ooh, we got cloudy. We were just sun sun, and then it said we were going to have snow. So, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I love to have some snow. I like to have three feet of snow, but we never got that this year. Hmm. You never know. You can always have a snowstorm in the springtime. I've seen it happen more than once. Yeah, some I like the people tell you, Oh, it's not supposed to happen in the springtime. They don't control the weather. God controls the weather. So maybe we'll have some snow flurries. That'd be pretty cool. And if you don't know, snow cleans the air. That's what I say, don't eat the first snowfall. Because the snow cleans the air. So, I'm going to go drink some more coffee. Watch and see if it snows. And get ready for school. Yes, get ready for school. Only a few more weeks. And then we'll have a summer break. But I'm not really taking a break because... I'll just go over a few things with her. And then we'll have some fun things to do during the summer. 
So, with that, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And if you're up in the north where it's snowing, send it all down here to Ohio, Central Ohio. We would love to have some. If you're down south, stay cool as you possibly can because it's probably getting warm or hot. And on the east and west coast, just be praying no hurricanes this year. Because I've seen where they forecast it for hurricanes. You know what? Mm -mm. We're not going to have those either. They're going to be moved off the coast. So, just remember. God is good all the time. Thank you, Heidi, from Rain Country for reminding us all the time that God is good. Because, yes, He is. And we just got to keep that in mind. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time on Ash's Treasure Home Study and Gardening.